Hello, good day to you. Today, uh, my demonstration is about how to mount a file system uh, with the system D unit file. It's actually called mount unit configuration. So, uh, the, this is an alternative to FS tab. So, for example, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to assume you are familiar with FS tab, you know, for mounting a uh, file system. Uh, especially if you want your file system to be mounted on boot, so FS tab uh, is the way to go uh, normally. But uh, System D actually provides an alternative and also maybe some benefits, you know, uh, to mounting your file system. So uh, in this, I'm, I'm going to do, give you a demonstration. But before I give you a demonstration, I want to show you an example. So this is actually an example of a of a of a unit file of a mount unit that I have. Uh, I actually use this uh, in my setup. So the name the name of my mount the, the name you give to the file the unit file should end in dot mount. So that is extremely important. Uh, so it should end in dot mount so and the the way you name your file also it's also important so for example um i'm mounting so this is actually an nfs or uh, share so you see the network or uh, direct i'm mounting a network or uh, file so i'm mounting this the that nfs share on this directory or uh, for slash home or slash India slash my cloud. So how do I name my file? It is very important. I have to name it like this. So home iPhone India iPhone my cloud dot mount. So this is important that you name. So where, wherever uh, there's a for slash here like this, you turn into or uh, iPhone, except you know for the uh, the first one. So iPhone or dash. So I don't know what you call this, but I think it's iPhone or a dash. So and you have to put your file, the unit file, inside the this directory uh, for slash etc slash system d slash system. So this is uh what the file actually looks like. So the first uh stanza. Uh, or section is unit so unit you know is uh gives you something like this description description is uh what description do you want to give to you know the the what your file system and for here i use something like after you see after network target this means that this mount point you know should only be mounted when the networking you know has been started because it is a network share so i need networking before this uh, mount can be mounted so the next section is mount so actually what am I, so for example you see what what am i mounting so i give the path to the uh to my to my network share where where do i want to mount it so you see where do i want to mount it the type so the type is uh, the file system so in this case uh, this is a uh, sifs so um yeah i think this is actually more like samba uh things so uh sifs so then options options are like other options that you want to give you know things like uh, username password uh uid and install section install section is important if you want this uh, file system to be mounted automatically on boot especially so for example i said wanted wanted by graphical dot target so that means uh when i boot my system into the graphical uh, interface that is uh when you know this file system is going to be mounted so you, sh you, you can explore the various targets that is available in system d so uh for you to be familiar with that that there's a multi-target there's a 
I think in Bajensi, there's a couple of targets, you know, that are available. So, uh, so that is that. So let's actually go to the terminal to actually do an example. So, uh, my system, this system is uh, actually a radar, uh, sorry, a CentOS system, or uh, CentOS 7.3, but uh, system D is, uh, I think is available on most, most of the distributions uh, these days. So, um, check that out. So, so what I'm going to do, so I have a, I have a volume here, a disk that you know it's not formatted it is not mounted so if, if i if i type my mount so mount um uh, okay it actually gives a lot of things but okay let me show you my fs tab so uh, i actually have only one you know thing mounted you know from fs tab uh, so so i have this uh disk so i'm going to create a file system on this disk so I'm just going to say uh, make fs. Uh, let's uh, use it. Let's do uh, SFS for our system on this uh, on VDB. So if I run ls blog dash f now, so you see uh, this uh, this is actually uh, of type SFX. You know without it right now i'm not mounting it anyway so let's create a mount point so uh let's say we want to mount it in uh or slash mount slash let's say let's call it uh okay let's call it test unit so like i said uh the name oh sorry yeah let's call it directory test unit basically Mm, I think this might affect the name of the, like I said, the naming convention, but yeah, let, let me just use test units, you know, without, without the iPhone. I don't, I'm not sure if there's going to be a collision or when I actually write the name. So you see, uh, this is what I'm going to use. So let me remove this. So what I have here is test unit. So this is going to be my mount point. So uh, let's create the the unit actually. So we have to the unit actually has to be in Etsy or uh, system or uh, system D system. And remember, uh, the name has to be something like mount. So in this case, it has to be mount dash test unit dot mount so it is very important mount dash test unit dot mount so the, the dash here uh replaces the forward slash so uh okay i don't have vim on this system let me just use a um, vi so <coughs> let's start so the, like the first section is unit so unit and um, description description is a uh, what's uh, like it can be anything actually this is this is a test um after so the, it, it, this is not actually necessary to, so the dependencies actually um because this is a local file system, uh, I'm not going to say after network or something like that. But you know, if you if you have a a particular dependency that you need, so you have to put the dependency. You you use things like uh, after or before or things like that. So, but in this case, um, I'm just going to uh, use description. So the next is our unit. So unit. So what? What that? What refers to? What are we mounting? So the mount. What we are mounting is our dev of VDB. 
where where do we want to mount it we want to mount it on slash mount slash or uh, test unit um so if there are other options that we want to put we can put bots or uh, there are no options here right now i mean oh sorry a uh, very important one is the type what is the type the type refers to the file system which is sfx uh, so install install section is um install section or uh, is basically you know in the case that we want it to be mounted on boot so we can say wanted by uh, wanted by multi I think is a multi user dot target in this case or oh, multi so multi user multi user dot target uh okay so let's so that's so this is actually it uh description what where type so but i think this is like the basic things that we need uh we we'll write and quit so for so now if we type system ctl uh, status mount mount uh tests unit uh says cannot be found uh, uh, yeah it should be oh sorry so oh yeah so you see uh <laughs> i have to put dot mounts because you know by de by you know default i think system ctl you know it tries to look for mount or uh, dot service so because i think that's the popular most popular use of this system ctl also by default use it, it looks for mount text unit dot service so here uh now uh, let me clear let's run our status again so you see status um it said what's so it gave us an error it said there's a bad message and it gave us uh a clue it said the what session is missing so let's let's um edit our file uh what session let's see okay i think maybe there's this uh let me remove the spaces between uh, all this i'm not sure if that is the issue i don't think this is supposed to be the issue so let's run the status again uh i said what setting is missing refusing unknown l value type oh sorry about that sorry about the error a repeated unit here this is mount so yeah so i think we can actually put the the spaces i, I don't think the spaces uh, matters so okay now there's no error here but you see it is inactive or dead so basically let's enable it So we have enabled it so let's start let's start it so you know we you see we didn't get any error because uh 
uh, I, I fixed the error that was there. So you see, it says system CTL start. So that this is how you start your mount and you enable it. So when, by enabling it, you know, you'll be able to uh, mount it on boot. So we have started it. Let's look at our mount. So if I run the mount command, even though there's a lot of things, but you see, look at the last line here. This last line shows that our dev vdb is mounted on slash mount slash test unit oh, the type is xfs so you see uh and that is it we are being able to mount with um system ctl so th this is this is i mean this is as basic as it gets this is like the most basic thing you can do you can do manage a lot of dependency you know from your system ctl um you can specify maybe uh after before like i said for the dependency so uh, let's actually reboot the system or uh, let's reboot the system so i've i rebooted the system so we're going to see that um uh, it is going to be mounted uh, on boot because we enabled it so uh let's wait to log into the system so i'm logged in back to the system so um let's look at the mounts again so you see look at this so dev slash dev slash vdb or another way to look at this is df minus h so df minus h shows us so you see it is mounted on boot and we can actually create the file on on that Mount system. Uh, okay, I don't have a permission. I have to be root, so let me just do sudo root. So and I do an ls on that. So you see, uh, I'm just showing to to know that it is actually mounted. So this is actually how you a uh, basic way to create a mount point in the with system D. So I will put the uh, this example in the description section uh, for you to take a look at. So don't forget this. This was the error that I made before. The mount section it should be mount. Uh, and you need the, that's what description mount for mounting then install. So um, that is it. That is all I want to show you. Uh, let me know what you think. Oh, thank you for watching. Bye.